I'm back, bitches. Well, I can't really say that I'm back, back, but I'm here, I'm existing, right? I was gone for a bit because I had a loss in the family and I'm still dealing with that, mourning his death and everything. So for those who haven't caught up yet, I was living in Arizona, Prescott. I am now in California. This is where I'm stationed at for three months and a lot of shit's been going on on YouTube. When it comes to Krista and Alexis, I went live, y'all can watch it. It was the last video uploaded and I talked on it. I also talked on my experience with my separation and my divorce. A lot of my reaction videos are based on my opinions due to my experiences in life so I can relate a lot of the times which is why I say the things that I say. I'm also very good with human behavior and body language so I do watch a lot of couples and I do give my opinion if I believe that they're lifetime partners or not and you already know my track record. I'm right 90% of the time. But here we are now with Krista and Alexis and they have separated. Don't know what that entails. They never really gave too much detail on it. Um, but Alexis posted a video talking about her side and her perspective. Because by the end of the day, guys, I don't believe in there's two sides to a story and then there's the truth. Fuck no. There's strictly perspectives. Your perspective could be your truth. Their perspective can be their truth. So let's go ahead and watch Alexis and what she's got to say on it. Chris and Alexis uploaded a video called Alexis Side of the Story. Are y'all ready to react? Ooh, child, cause I am. Let's get it. Do I miss my life? Of course I do. I just know I really need this. What's good, Familia? Hashtag fam. Yeah, all right, you already know she ain't here. <laughs> um, so I'm making this video because I wanted to let you guys know what's going on um, and it's pretty much just an update um, and how I'm feeling so pretty much it's my diary and I'm pretty much talking to you guys now. A venting session, that's <laughs> so, what this is. So far it's been okay. I'm just lost. I will say, I don't believe couples should let us know about these things. I think they should keep this behind closed doors. I think they should resolve it between just the two of them. Well, let's see what she's got to say. I recently had to give up something that I loved, um, which was my dog grooming salon. It just sucks because I couldn't do it anymore because of the physical pain. So I'm just really lost right now. Um, because that's all I had. I'm taking this break also because of my mental health. So I really want to work on myself. I've been going to therapy. Good. I've been good. Um, trying to figure out what it is that I love again. And I have borderline personality disorder. And sometimes. I can't even handle myself, so that makes you think Krista can't handle me. I don't want to- That's the thing. Um, <laughs> okay, so Chris and Alexis, um, when I talked on the domestic violence in those videos, for those who missed it, this is a little clip to show you what toxicity and abuse looks like. These are the four things to look out for when play fighting becomes red flags for abuse in a relationship. Play starts without your consent. Play continues in spite of your requests to stop. Seriously. When any part of the play causes you actual pain. Where I bit her arm. Really excruciating <laughs> hard. Oh, that hurt. When your partner seems to enjoy inflicting pain on you. What the fuck? Stop, Chris, what the fuck? Oh, that hurt. And I feel like it's so funny 
to annoy Alexis because her reactions yeah, she loves to do that. are priceless. And I make it my lifelong duty <laughs> to make Alexis annoyed. I think it's the most funny. That makes my days go by. Yeah, I know. But you're, you're not putting this in. I'm just letting you know that. Okay. And what I don't like is that they're making it sound or look normal to their viewers. You're having them believe that it's okay, and it's not okay. It is not okay. I'm going to say it one more time. It is not okay. And that is also from talking to a psychology expert. You guys can look back on those videos. Click right there. That's one of the videos. And the one when I spoke with a psychology expert is right there if you wanna click onto that one as well. But in one of those videos, I did learn that she does have borderline personality disorder, which obviously does not excuse for the physical action and reaction. She does have borderline personality disorder. Fear of abandonment, extreme mood swings, which is the reason why she does go from one emotion to another quickly. Unstable relationships which I believe they are in one, okay? She has impulsive, self-destructive tendencies. Very impulsive, okay, that played a big part. Unstable self-image, self-harm, paranoia, disassociation. The disassociation I've seen because she's very reserved and quiet when she's around others. Uh, chronic feelings of emptiness, okay. So she definitely, from what I've seen, the videos that I've seen, I'm not diagnosing her. She is saying that she has borderline personality disorder. But as you can see, violence is not a characteristic. So her hitting Krissa is not because of her disorder. Now that being said, it does not mean that it's gonna be an easy ride being with someone who has a mental disorder. And Alexis already knows this herself and Krista I'm sure knows this because she spent all those years with her. So it's tough you guys. You, It's tough on the person who has the disorder and it's also tough on the partner. It's a battle. The toll on Krista and my emotions it was like up and down, like depressed, anxiety, living through my traumas that I've been through, um, triggers, all that jazz. And I'm really working on myself and I'm, I'm trying my very, very best. And I believe that this break is going to be amazing because sometimes I just, I just get stuck in my head. I just feel numb. And I don't want to live like that anymore. She's choosing herself and that is okay. And I'm pretty sure you have heard also about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Kim went public and said that she chose herself. And you know, obviously we all know that Kanye West has bipolar disorder so it's tough you guys it shit ain't easy doesn't mean the love wasn't there but dealing with that stuff can also cause toxic relationships i just want to give and provide the best version of myself i know everyone's asking oh well why 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 are you guys separated or why you guys are not together like physically you guys can do it together sometimes it's just good to have space and it's good to clear your mind and it's good to get to know yourself again yeah i'm not gonna lie like it's very hard to um get to know who i am sometimes because of everything that's happened to me and i'm not trying to blame my past um because i'm still i'm working on alexis but um i just need that space um years ago it, it i didn't provide that space and I thought mm. you know I needed her all the time and that you know it's just something that is definitely needed um do I miss my life of course I do of course you spent all those you years know, with her you know um, of course she's the yin to my yang like I just I do feel like another part is missing and, uh, she seems lost in life, just in general. It seems also, it's not just her borderline personality disorder, but it seems like she's also in depression. And 
she's struggling, you know, she's struggling to find herself. And it seems like she lost herself in the relationship, which is why I believe is one of the things that she had to let go, not just her business. If that's something that she had to do to find herself and to love herself again, then so be it. And I support that 100%. But I'm telling you, you guys, the separation physically might end your marriage, but that could also be okay. It's hard, but <laughs> I need to take care of myself um, or else. So this seems like this is Alexis's idea for the separation. You won't be the it to my name. I just know I really need this. I just want to get better. <laughs> Sorry, I'm crying on you guys. So I really don't want to. Um, during this break, it's it's um it's an emotional roller coaster, but um, I'm figuring out things and I that I haven't before, and I'm just happy for that. Good. Um, I still communicate with Krista. Um, once I'm able to get out of this funk <laughs> step, <that I> mean, <laughs> right? Um, then we'll see what happens. Whatever the outcome is, I still love her. I just, I just want to stop being at war with my mind. But I though the, from what it sounds like, it seems like she doesn't really want to fight for the marriage. I heard just saying whatever the outcome is. So this is not the type of separation where they're working on the marriage at the same time. It just seems like the separation is based on them working on themselves only, which is why I say it might, this most likely will lead to divorce because just talking over the phone with each other and not working at all in the marriage is gonna drift you guys more and more apart. And if that happens, it happens. Uh, but it does seem like the separation is based on them working on just themselves figure it out you know and I know there's a lot of people that are like you know you can figure it out with her there or you could you know like I'm giving excuses mental health is not anything no it, oh, um, it is no, it is, <laughs> it, is. <laughs> it is um it is mental health is me, tough it, I've been through so much in my life I have so many stories to tell that I was or uh, that I am unable to tell because I don't have the courage to tell yet. I just need to work on my- She's brought up um, a few a few of those things. YouTube can demonetize me for using these words. I don't care. But uh, she did say that she was molested. She was been raped. Um, she's been in abusive relationships. So she's been through a lot of shit, y'all. And she's battling a mental disorder. So it ain't easy. <laughs> She's fighting herself a lot. So if this is the break she needs, then this might be a good idea for her. Because I never knew who myself was ever because of the life that I lived. So I'm trying to take myself back and get to know me. Self-love, girl. I back that I think up. That's an amazing thing that I'm doing. I back that we up. We make these videos because we want to put out in the world realness and not just bullcrap. Like, we love each other, but it's not lovey-dovey all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you so much for understanding. This is Familia. I love you guys. Okay, well, that was a very short video, but I made it longer with my clips. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this video. She was just basically telling her feelings on it. Um, hopefully we get to hear Chris aside, which I feel like we're going to, and I'll react to hers as well. Good luck to them and to them individually. I mean no harm with my videos. I hope you guys understand that and I hope you know my intentions and my heart. Until then, I don't know if y'all see me, but find me on TikTok, because I'm having lots of fun there. Find me at blissful underscore experiment. I have fun there, guys. Go watch me, please. <laughs> All right, you guys, see you till whenever. Peace.